Alright, I got this wonderful statue um, a week or two ago. I've been looking forward to it ever since it was announced. I love Harley Quinn, and I really enjoyed the redesigns for the Arkham Asylum and Arkham City games. So when this statue was announced, I was very excited. Thanks to a friend that works at a comic book shop, I got it for a good price. And here it is, the DC Direct Arkham City um, Harley Quinn statue. And in this pause, while well, I'm not saying anything interesting, I was just looking to see if I still have the box here, but I don't. Um, but its boxes aren't important. Statue. Um, here it is next to the DC Direct Arkham City Harley Quinn. Or the Play Arts Kai Harley Quinn um, Arkham Asylum version, because the Arkham City version isn't out yet. Or the one of the DC Direct mini busts. Um, as you can see, it's about nine inches tall. And it is a statue. No moving parts. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, I like the base. Let's see if we can get a look at it really quick. It's got some texturing on it. Dry brush. I love the red color chosen. The I would say her skin is a little too gray. You can see kind of on her face that it's not quite so gray on her face. Um, especially her actual face. It's almost like it's they didn't spray the gray over top of her cheeks and her mouth around as much. It's a little distracting in person occasionally if the light hits it right, but but it's not really a big deal. Um, I've just I've always loved this design. I like the way her her pigtails are are dyed red and black. I've always loved the alternating color scheme of her costume. Um, I should have grabbed the cover girls so you could get a better look at her default costume. But I mean, it's you can see that the design is inspired by the same thing. Um, I just really, really like the statue, and so I thought I'd have something interesting to say about it. But clearly, I really don't. There's a little actual chain there. The I like the diamond patterns. It's actually. Double sculpted in. There's a, a a line sculpted where the red ends, and then another line sculpted around that. I don't know if you can see it. Pretty much everywhere it's painted, it's there are sculpted lines for it to match. So the paint seems pretty decent to me. Um, I love her tattoos. Joker card with the actual Joker on it. And a, a rose with some thorns on it. Um, so that one's cool. Really, really detailed. Uh, if you've not seen a look at the DC Direct version, it's also got the tattoo on there. Of course, it's a lot smaller. It's harder to see. Um, one thing that I didn't know, because you can't see it again on this one because it's too small, but the tattoo on her arm is, again, the rosebush theme. And again, a playing card theme, only this time, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's it's her. And that's really cool. Um, that was probably horrifically noisy. It's a very attractive statue. Not much else to say about it beyond the fact that I really like it. It's very well sculpted. Very well painted. I like the design. Um, so I love it.